Hello everyone, this is Ms. Weidenhammer and today we're going to be discussing lesson six of our cardiovascular unit. Specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at William Harvey and double circulation. We're first gonna take a look at William Harvey and his discoveries on the heart and how blood flows throughout the body. And then we'll take a look at double circulation. So first with William Harvey, we're gonna go through a PowerPoint slide on his discoveries and what he did to determine different facts about the heart. And then you will answer these three questions based off of the lecture and the uh, video that's attached on the screen. So the questions that we want to answer at the end of this based off of William Harvey is who was William Harvey? What did his experiment show and what theory did he falsify? So let's jump on in. I'm going to hit the William Harvey PowerPoint so we can see what exactly he did. So William Harvey was a scientist who helped us discover what exactly our heart does in our body and how it plays a role in how blood moves throughout the body. But before he came along, there were some other theories about what was going on with blood and the heart. So way back in the days, in 169 AD, blood was thought to flow away from the heart, carrying vital spirit to the organs. So the scientist Gallen said that blood was made in the liver and the heart. So this diagram on your screen shows blood flowing from the heart. So here's the heart over here and flowing from the liver, which is shown right here to the organs of the body, okay? So they thought that blood was just made in the liver and the heart and it got sent out to the whole body. And as you can see, the blood isn't coming back to the liver or the heart as Gallen said. So this right here illustrates 15th century ideas about blood flow, which we now know is incorrect. So moving down, scientists regarded theories as uncertain. Okay, new evidence came about and disproved these theories. So again, back in, what was it, 169 AD, Gallen had his theory of the heart and the liver and how he thought that blood was coming from both the heart and the liver and it wasn't coming back to it. So Gallant's theory of the circulatory system was disproved, however, by William Harvey, and it was disproved in 1628. So William Harvey showed that this theory of Gallant's was incorrect because he used experiments um, based on blood and how it circulated around the body with the heart as acting as the pump of allowing blood to flow through. So how did William Harvey use his experiments to disprove Gallen? Let's take a look. He did three specific experiments that helped him um, say that Gallen was wrong. So the first one, A, he tied a thread uh, around the end of a fish heart and the heart emptied of blood. So taking a look at A, so as you can see my cursor right here, he tied, you can say a thread, a string, around a fish's heart. When he did that, the fish's heart emptied, right? The fish heart emptied, but no blood entered back into the heart. So we know that the blood wasn't just made in the heart. It had to come back to the heart from the blood, from the body as it circulated around. So that was his first experiment. His second experiment, B right here, experiments with snake hearts confirm that blood enters the heart. So let's take a look at this picture B. So again, he closed off blood supply to this heart of the fish. So one, he says, sees the vein, heart muscle becomes pale, okay? But when he releases it, okay, then blood flows back into the heart. So again, it showed that blood was circulating around the body and had to come back to the heart to gain oxygen and then flow back through the rest of the body. Okay. And then C, he also did this with dog hearts. So he experimented with dog hearts, providing further proof that blood is returning to the heart. So again, he tied off the aorta. Okay. So let's see, number one, he tied off the aorta at the base. Number two, he cut a carotid artery. And remember, arteries bring blood away from the heart and veins bring blood to the heart, okay? And then third, arteries emptied, but veins are distended, okay? So again, it's showing that blood is leaving the heart, but has to come back in to be pumped around the body again. 
And last but not least, he did his discovery um, or an experiment on humans, okay? And this simple experiment on humans aids in his disapproval of Gallen's original theory. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so remember, artery away from the heart, they both start with A, so that's helpful. A away from the heart, vein back to the heart. So let's look at the first one here. He put a tight ligature, or you can think of as like a rope or a thread, right? He put a tight thing around the arm, okay? And the vein and artery are going to be compressed. So let's take a look at this first picture. If we compress the artery, remember, artery taking blood away from the heart, so it's going to go to the other parts of the body. So if we close off the artery, we know that blood is not going to be able to go to the hand if you cut it off at the arm, okay? So blood isn't able to go into the hand. So if blood isn't able to go into the hand, it's not going to be able to circulate back to the um, heart to gain more oxygen, okay? So it shows that the blood is circulating around the body and is pumped by the heart, okay? He then did an experiment by closing off the um, vein. So now it's kind of like the other way around. So closing off the vein, blood was allowed to come into the hand, but it wasn't allowed to go back to the heart. So now all that blood that was brought to the hand stopped and wasn't able to go back to the heart to get more oxygen. So again, William Harvey was able to disprove um, original theories about how blood just came out of nowhere and was pumped from the heart into, and the liver into the rest of the body. And he proved that the heart acted as a pump and allowed blood to go from the heart to the rest of the body to give it oxygen, but then had to come back around back to the heart to gain more oxygen and be recycled throughout the body. Okay, so I want you to pause the video right here and I want you to answer these three questions. Who was William Harvey? What did his experiment show? What theory did he falsify? And using that lecture and the video that's right on the screen right here, I want you to answer those three questions. So pause the video, answer the three questions, see what you come up with. Okay, and this um, slide can also help you in answering those questions as well. So moving on to our next slide, double circulation. So this is what William Harvey was talking about, how the blood again gets circulated throughout the body and then comes back into the heart. So let's take a look at the picture here. So here we're seeing the right and the left side of the heart. Let's go step by step. How is blood flowing throughout our body, throughout the heart, and how is it getting oxygen? So let's start off with the right side of the heart right here, okay? The right side right now is blue, okay? So blue means it is deoxygenated. It does not have any oxygen because it's already dropped off oxygen in the body. So as you're following this, from our right side of the heart, we have deoxygenated blood. And that blood is going to be sent out of the heart to grab some oxygen from the lungs. You can see it here. As it grabs oxygen from the lungs, our picture is going to turn red. So that means it is now going to be oxygenated. As this oxygenated blood is moving through the um, vein, because now we're going towards the heart, we're going to come into the left side of the heart. From the left side, we now have oxygenated blood from the lungs, and that is going to be sent throughout the body to give the rest of the body oxygen. So now you can see if you follow along, now we're going to be taking an artery, remember A, away from the heart. So we're going to be taking oxygenated blood away from the heart, from the left side of the heart, and you're going to bring it down and around the body. Okay. And as we're going through, we're going to use capillaries to allow this diffusion of oxygen to go from um, the heart to all the different body tissues. Um, you can thank your legs, your toes, your, um, what else is down there, liver, uh, your hands. That's where you're going to bring oxygenated blood to. But once the blood drops off that oxygen, it is going to become deoxygenated again. So it's a whole circle. It's a loop. It's going to come back to the right side of the heart because now we're deoxygenated. We don't need oxygen. And it's going to do the same thing over again. So you're recycling the blood and the blood is going to be carrying oxygen to the tissues. Once it drops it off, it's going to come back around and hit the right side of the heart to um, get 
up through the lungs and get some more oxygen. So make sure to read this side um, piece right here. It gives um, in detail what I just explained in the video. So you can use that and um, with in addition to what I just explained to fill out your notes for that. Okay. And then moving on to our last, um, second to last PowerPoint slide for um, lesson six, we have pulmonary versus systemic circulation. So let's look at what each of these um, mean and how William Harvey helped us out with this. Okay. So pulmonary circulation, Pulmonary circulation moves blood between the heart and the lungs, okay? So pulmonary would be anywhere where the blood is going from the heart to the lungs or the lungs to the heart. So here, looking at our picture, this would be um, pulmonary circuit. It's going from the right side of the heart, deoxygenated, to get some oxygen from the lungs, okay? And then also pulmonary, would be going from the lungs now oxygenated to the left side of the heart. So up here would be your pulmonary circuit because it's only um, blood is flowing from the heart to the lungs or the lungs to the heart. Now systemic circulation is circulation of blood between the heart and the rest of the body. So down here on your diagram is where the systemic circulation would be. So you would have the left side of the heart pumping oxygenated blood to the body and to the tissues. And you would also have a systemic circuit where we're now taking that deoxygenated blood already dropped off the oxygen and is now going from the tissue up to the um, right side of the heart. Okay, so those are the two differences of circulation between. But again, William Harvey helped us out in understanding that the heart acts as a pump and it's recirculating the blood and allowing the blood to take oxygen from the lungs and giving it to the rest of the body and then taking that, ox uh, taking that blood that um, gave away its oxygen to come back up to the heart to get some oxygen from the lungs and recycle and circle through the whole circulatory system again. Okay, so that is that slide. And then moving on to our last slide of lesson six, I'm going to encourage you uh, to watch this video. It does a nice overview of how the blood is flowing throughout the heart, how it's becoming oxygenated, how it gets deoxygenated. So I also want you to take a look at this video as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about anything, please feel free to email me. Also, please feel free to join the Google Hangouts each day from 10 to 11 a.m. Okay, thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day, everybody.